I'm thinking of a convex polyhedron containing 12 faces, seven are triangles, and four are quadrilaterals. Notice how this leaves one unknown face. The polyhedron has 11 vertices, including those around the mystery face. How many sides does the last face have? Because we have a convex polyhedron, and every convex polyhedron can be represented as a connected planar graph, we can use Euler's formula to help solve this problem. Where Euler's formula states, for any connected planar graph with v vertices, e edges, and f faces, we have v minus e plus f equals two. Let's begin by stating the given information. We know the polyhedron has 12 faces and 11 vertices, which indicates f equals 12 and v equals 11. And now we need to work on determining the number of edges. If we sum the number of edges from each of the faces, this is equal to twice the number of edges of the polyhedron because each edge borders two faces of the polyhedron. Well, seven triangles would add seven times three or 21 edges, and four quadrilaterals would add four times four or 16 edges. Let's assume the last face has n edges and n vertices. So again, the sum of all the edges of the faces is equal to twice the number of edges of the polyhedron. This gives us the equation 2e is equal to seven times three plus four times four plus n. Simplifying and dividing by two, we have e equals the quantity 37 plus n divided by two. We know the number of edges must be a whole number, which indicates 37 plus n must be even, so that when we divide by two, we have a whole number, not a decimal. If 37 plus n must be even, then n must be odd. 37 plus an odd number will be even, and then if we divide by two, e will be a whole number. This indicates the last face must have an odd number of edges and vertices because we let the last face have n edges and n vertices. Now we apply Euler's formula, which again is v minus e plus f equals two. This gives us 11 minus the quantity 37 plus n divided by two plus 12 equals two. And now we need to solve for n, which will give us the number of edges and vertices of the last face so that we can answer the question. For the first step, 11 plus 12 is equal to 23, giving us 23 minus the quantity 37 plus n divided by two equals two. Next, we can rearrange the equation and write the equation as 21 equals the quantity 37 plus n divided by two. Multiplying both sides by two, we have 42 equals 37 plus n, giving us n equals five. To answer the question, how many sides does the last face have? It has n sides, the last face has five sides, and is a pentagon. I hope you found this helpful.